In this project, I've been given the task of creating a link that should fit between these two pins. Let's look at the start of the design of the link. In this particular case, I'm going to use adaptive technology. So when I created the sketch, I'm not too concerned about dimensions. Indeed, I can't constrain the sketch, otherwise adaptive technology will not work. So I have one dimension, that 0 0.250 radius. Let's close down the link. And I'm going to place an instance of the link inside the assembly. You can see the link is nowhere close to the correct size. But I'm not concerned about that because adaptive technology will allow me to size it correctly. So the first thing I have to do with the link is edit the link. And once I've done that, make the extrusion adaptive. Now when I do that, we see the symbol for adaptive beside both the extrusion and the link. So let's return to the assembly. And now what I'm going to do is assemble the part. And when I do that, it will be sized correctly. So with a mate constraint, I want the face, not the center line, face to face on the pin. Click Apply, and the hole resizes correctly. And we can see that's working properly. I now want to constrain the faces. Select one using the Select Other tool. Select the back face and click OK. Now let's see what happens. It's clearly way too short. So using adaptive technology, again, I can size that correctly. The inside face. Zoom and pan down to the other area. Select the face of the pin. Click Apply and it sizes correctly. I've allowed the technology to size the length of the link, not make some guess or try to measure it. I'm using adaptive as well to size the thickness of it. So by using adaptive, I can create parts to the correct size. It's also good practice once you've used adaptive just to toggle that off. So in the browser, right click, select adaptive, and if you need to toggle it back on, you can repeat that process.